Possession and making a touch. The object of each team is to score more touchdowns than the opposition team. Teams in possession have six touches or six possession opportunities before they lose possession and the opposite team gains possession. After each touch, players perform a roll ball. On the fifth touch, referees will usually call fifth and hold one hand in the air with fingers spread. On the next or sixth touch, the team then hands the ball over to the opposition and the opposition team then has six touches or six possession opportunities in which to attempt to score. The handover occurs where the last touch was made. And the game is restarted with a roll ball. The team losing possession must give the ball to the other team without delay. And if a team delays handover, the referee will award a penalty. A touch is defined as any physical contact made between the player in possession of the ball and any defending player in the other team. A touch also includes contact on clothing, the ball, or even on the hair. The touch must be made with the minimum physical force necessary. Hard hits, slaps, or pushes are not allowed, and players should try to make touches in a balanced position to avoid any hard physical contact especially when one or both players are running fast towards each other. If the referee sees a hard touch by a player, the referee will blow the whistle and award a penalty to the other team. When a touch is made, the player in possession has to perform a roll ball on the mark where the touch occurred. The mark is the place where the player was when the touch was made. When a touch is made, all players in the defending team, including the player who made the touch, must move backwards or retire a distance of not less than 5 metres from the mark. A touch may be made by either a defending player or by the player in possession of the ball. Sometimes the player with the ball will make the touch rather than wait for a defending player. This option helps the attacking team with their tactics or set plays as it will cause all players in the defending team to retire and move backwards down the field. Otherwise, they'll be caught offside and penalised by the referee. This is sometimes called driving. 